Welcome back. As productions finally start making a comeback in New York City, a new Black women-owned production company and rental studio in Harlem is seeking to help you create, inspire, and shine. Joining us now to share more about Real Gems is Christine Davis, the founder and CEO of Real Gems. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us no, today, No, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, you know, first of all, congratulations on launching this production company. If you can just tell us a little bit about Real Gems and your mission, that would be wonderful. Absolutely. So Real Gems, as you said, is a multipurpose studio, rental studio, and we're a production company. And the mission is really just to create uh, projects um, that are for us, like telling our stories, right? Because there's not enough stories out there that reflect, um, you know, our everyday uh, issues or things of that nature. So I want to make sure I created something that gives us a space for creatives like us to create those stories, you know? Beautiful thing. And Christine, you launched the studio space during COVID-19, right? What made you yeah. want to delve into the world of entrepreneurship at that moment? What exactly pushed you to make this happen? You know what it was? I just saw how quickly by the snap of your fingers, how you can be without a job instantly. And I figured like, why am I subjecting myself to just being in that position. And then at that moment, I figured I have to find a way to find several streams of income, whether it's through investments, um, starting my own business. And I figured that was that would be a great way to start that, you know, having the multiple streams of income. So I said, today is the day, to, it's time. Um, it's clearly the right time for me to do. I had no fear. I didn't let COVID stop me. I felt like it just, it, it just fueled me actually. It, it, it really did fuel me to get it started. I love so that. And, you know, as an actress yourself, what types of challenges do actors and creatives normally face in New York City? And how does Real Gem seek to provide solutions to some of these challenges? The biggest challenge I would say definitely for um, actors and actresses specifically is location. So most of the services that actors would need, like self-tape auditions, slate shots, the companies that provide those services are only downtown. Like mm -hmm. they're only downtown. So sometimes, like for instance, you will get a, a, a audition at the last minute and you need to run all the way downtown. To probably, depending on where you're at, the top of the Bronx or even in Harlem, it can take you about 45 up to two hours to get down to that location. And then boom, you don't have a you don't have the opportunity to do your self-tape. So location is is the one of the great reasons why we feel like we're a gem. <laughs> because it's in the middle, uh, it's right in the middle between Harlem and, and the Bronx and that's one of the biggest issues is location. And we provide great services for all creatives, you know? What are some of those services? Um, please share. Yes. So we <laughs> have, um, the, our biggest service is the photography and video rental space. So you can rent the space to do those things. We have photo shoot sessions, uh, video shoot sessions with our, with our photographer and videographer. You can rent the space for meeting spaces where you can use it for production meetings, uh, Zoom calls, uh, other business meetings, um, podcasting services that I'm really like excited about that we just launched. Then we also, uh, you can also use the space for, um, we, all, we actually just finished up a demo reel for some actor. Oh. So we, we provide demo reel services. Um, that's pretty much all of what we do. Yep. Sounds amazing. And Real Gems yeah. provides some of the um, the equipment for people yeah. to use. Absolutely. We have all the cameras, all the backdrops, uh, the backdrops and the, the chairs, everything just comes with, comes with your package. The TV monitor that we have, everything, everything Got comes you. with your package. Got yep. you. And you know, one thing that people are worried about is, of course, COVID guidelines being followed in some of these spaces. So how does Real Gems keep the space safe for their clients? Oh, we are totally big on that. So first of all, first and foremost, before you even book, you do receive a, a, a letter saying, OK, these are the uh, requirements. You cannot enter the studio without a mask. If you do happen to show up without a mask, but we already have a stack of masks here waiting for you once you enter the door, once you enter the door, you have to wash your hands. Um, you can't even enter the studio space before you actually go into the commercial. Those are our new policies as of January. Before, you just use hand sanitizer, but now you have to actually go wash your hands, come inside, um, and then you can. it's only up to 10 people in here at a time. More than 10, we have to monitor uh, the, the, the surplus of people, and we just check back and forth to see like who's in and out the studio like that. So we do a rotation if it's more than 10, but actually we don't do more than 10. But if we gotcha. have to, but we clean every, gotcha. after every booking we clean, every Friday it's a deep clean of the studio. Um, yeah, we take that very seriously. And where exactly are you guys located in Harlem and why was it important for Real Gems to be in Harlem specifically? Well, yes, 
it was so the address of the space is 263 West 153rd Street in Harlem, New York, New York 10039. It was important for it to be in Harlem because I am from Harlem. I was born in the Bronx, so I claim both worlds. That's why I'm catering. Hey. To all, yeah, <laughs> I'm catering to all my, my Bronx family, my Harlem family. Um, I live in Harlem. It, the studio is literally three blocks away from where I live. And I kind of felt like, you know what, it's time for me to start seeing black owned businesses in the community that I live in. And for so long, I haven't seen any. I'm just like, I don't know, where, where are they? You know what I mean? So um, I thought it was really important for it to start in Harlem and it's gonna stay in Harlem. And uh, Christine, you developed a relationship with like the building owners or something in order to establish the studio space? Because when I visited in the past, um, it, I've noticed that it was inside a building that already, yes. so how, was that, how was developing that relationship with somebody? Oh there? my gosh. So, you know, it, it's crazy how things come full circle. And I def I'm so glad you asked that question because uh, this space that I'm in, that Real Gems is currently in right now was actually downstairs from where I um, currently live, 150th. Wow. And it was a center for kids back in the days before computer computers were a thing to learn Adobe Photoshop, to learn Premiere, make your own videos. Wow. Basically what I'm doing now is what I was doing almost 15 years ago. So I got a scholarship from the program and they knew me. I just came to them and said, like, listen, I want to start this idea. And they just backed me hundred percent and now I'm here. So just to see that come like full circle in a pandemic, absolutely crazy. I'm so grateful. I love that. That's like the epitome of it takes a village, you know, Absolutely. it takes a village to raise a child. So supportive, so supportive of me. That's beautiful. Christina, if you can just share the inception of Real Gems and how it came to fruition, the idea of your production company. Absolutely. I totally love this story. I received a, a self-tape audition request from my manager and it was due. I probably got it like late in the night and it was due the following day like and I'm like how the heck am I going to make this happen this is before real gems obviously so you know back back at that time I just had like a dingy backdrop and not even a backdrop it was just like cloth and it was hard it wasn't ironed it was wrinkly and I'm just going crazy I called my um my friend I said please come over and help me film this this self-tape and that's the biggest issue not having a reader for your for your auditions for a lot of actors is is really where it just like goes down downhill from there. You know what I mean? So um, we just sat there like, this this can't be our lives. I'm not gonna go all the way downtown to shoot this self tape. I'm not gonna do it and pay all this money. I'm not gonna do it. Right. So I just sat there and we both said, you know what? You should just do this. Like you should just charge. I'm like, you're right. Why not? So a space for like us um, to be able to do that and have these auditions. Like someone just came in the other day, last minute I was there available. So just the availability for me um, and being able to put the smile on those faces when they said like, listen, this is so last minute. Thank you for just coming through for us because this was really needed because I didn't have the time to go all the way downtown. Like this is perfect right. location. And apparently, apparently there's a need for it. So it's amazing that yes. you came um, through at that moment too. You know, and something else I wanted to ask you is to please send the message to our local creatives here in the Bronx and in Harlem as well about the importance of keeping their craft up and creating during these times. I know a lot of us have been like a little down, you know, mm -hmm. it's the pandemic. How can we just keep the spirits up? And what's the importance? We, we have to keep creating. I think this is the best time to, to pull, pull from this to keep creating. There is someone waiting to hear your story to be inspired why why cut that that blessing off from someone else you know what I mean so keep creating this the, the world is waiting for us people are really waiting for our stories and it's up to us to tell those stories by all means necessary so please keep creating it's so important it's vital it's, it's necessary you know what I mean <laughs> We're the for that. <laughs> and, and what's next for real gems what can we expect now to come next Yes, I'm so glad you asked that. So we are working on a few productions. We have a feature film in the works that I'm so, so, so excited about right now. It's still in development, but um, by the end of March, it should move into pre-production. We have a, a, a series, an action comedy series. Uh, people that look like us are going to be in it. I'm talking about like Asians, Latinos, like every, like I'm just so happy that I was able to create something where everybody can be involved. You know what I mean? It's time for us to tell our story. So that's actually in pre-production right now as we speak. So I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah. So exciting. And without further ado, please invite people to connect with Real Gems and, you know, find out where you're located, any information that they need from you at this time. 
Yes. So uh, our website is www.realreelgems, hyphen ent.com. That's our website. And then you can please follow us on support us. I just say support versus follow. I think it's a support thing. Support us on Real Gems on IG. Um, same thing. All social media handles is Real Gems, R E E L G E M S. And our phone number is 347 378 9878. Thank you so much, Christine, for joining no us problem. today and sharing Thank more. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. This was awesome. Yes. Christine Davis <laughs> is the founder and CEO of Real Gems. You can follow her on all those social media platforms that she's provided right now and learn more about the production company online. That's all for our show today. I'm your host, Sanji Lopez, wishing you and your family safety and wellness now and always. Take care. <laughs>